Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Road to the Knockouts, team number two is here today on Friday inside of FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. We have ourselves another promo Friday and the second week as expected of the Road to the Knockouts promo. I want to talk about today, the market, what's going to be happening today. Also, content-wise, objectives, SBCs, cards that are in packs, what is going to go down today on Friday inside of this game. I want to talk about that loading screen and how we're also going to get some cards released early, just like we did last week via the Champions League Twitter page. Also talk about just what's going on in the pulse of this game uh, with the market actually rising up a little bit yesterday with the division rivals rewards and the marquee matchups impacting the market the most. So if you're enjoying the videos on the channel, make sure to hit a thumbs up and of course, subscribe if you're new around here. But let's take a look at this loading screen. Who are these players that EA might be hinting at on this loading screen? Well, we've done the research, we've done the thinking, and to our best knowledge and our best guess, it kind of goes like this. The card on the left is probably going to be Tap Soba or Sengraven. Player in the middle looks like Marco Royce um, because it, a lot of people think it might be Timo Werner, but an 81 rated boost to 87 shooting on a Timo Werner would be an incredibly huge upgrade. So it looks like it might be more of a Marco Royce type card. We will see today, of course. And then left wing 84 dribbling, that to me is El Sharawi because Roma does not have a card yet. And since they're in the conference league, I feel like that would be the perfect item for EA to put in packs today um, to represent the conference league. Now, I'm gonna start off the video by saying this. There's a lot of stuff going around on Twitter. I know some of you guys have seen it. Some of you guys have not. We take these with a grain of salt. All right, these are not true. They're not 100% verified. They could be true, but we do not know. There are some leaks floating around. I'm not a huge fan of leaks. I think that it takes the excitement and the surprise out of a lot of this, but there are a lot of names uh, floating around and I am gonna show some right now. So prepare yourselves, whether you do or do not wanna see. These are some names that are being thrown around for a potential road to the final players today. Amavi, Tapsova, Fred, Werner, Diada, and a Cruz. Uh, objective, which kind of sounds dead unless they really give that a big boost. So those are some names that are being thrown around as, as well as De Young, right? Again, these are not confirmed. These are just being talked about. We will see if any of these come today. Those are just some ideas of what cards could be out in packs today. Now, one thing that is 100% confirmed is that just like last week, the UEFA Champions League Twitter page is going to be posting some of these cards an hour before. And last week, all they posted, I think it was Marquinhos, uh, Vidal, and I forget the last one that they posted, but they're going to show us most likely three cards today that will be as a part of the team. They even used the wrong card design in their uh, Twitter post, which I think is so funny. But we will see these an hour before the content drops. So 5 p.m. UK, whatever time that is for you, and one hour before the content drop in FIFA, they will be posting on this Twitter page at Champions League a couple of the cards that will be in packs uh, today on Friday. So that is what we're expecting, right? We are expecting, just like last week, new cards in packs today. Now, of course, last Friday we had 11 new ones, all of the Road to the Knockout, either Europa League, Champions League, or the uh, Conference League variety, which is probably what I would expect today, 11 new cards in packs. And as we start talking about how this market's gonna be impacted and how these cards are gonna be moving today, um, last week and this week, right? Week one and week two of promos are very, very, very different in terms of the saved up packs. A lot of people, especially with the way the promos are working, it seems this year where we have the first week is seven days and the second week is only five days. If you think about ones to watch, the ones to watch team two cards all went out of packs on um, Wednesday the day, three days before we actually got the road to the knockout promo on Friday or two days before. So I think that's how it's going to be this week. But then again, between team one and team two, you don't have people saving packs with no promo cards in packs. So today, I don't think the promo cards are going to act like they did last week. If you guys remember one week ago, we had this ESOC card that took the game by a storm, uh, came out onto the market right away in the first 15 minutes. He was 100,000 coins, exploded to 190K within that first hour as people went out and bought this card up and to use it. 
uh, in their teams. I really don't think you're going to see stuff like that happening on the game today. It's probably going to be more of a slow drop and a kind of progressional drop. Maybe the first hour and second hour, they get kind of low. They might bounce back after the third hour, but a lot of these cards are probably just going to slow drop into the evening. That's what I would expect. Maybe rise up a little bit Saturday morning and a couple cards will have some fluctuations tonight as well. That always happens. Uh, but most of them are probably going to start a little expensive and then drop down just because you don't see as many saved up packs. And when people save um, their rewards and they save their marquee matchups packs, you know, there might be a little bit of that, but it's not like we haven't had promo cards uh, out of packs. Like no promo, like last week, no promo cards were in packs. So people saved their packs because there was nothing to open for. This week, we've still had the team one in packs. So I think less people are saving. That's just my opinion. That's how I expect the promo cards to react on the market today. Uh, and for the rest of the market, I think a lot of the market today really just depends on how much panic selling there is this morning on Friday. Now, this is going to take us into a little bit of a conversation on what happened yesterday on Thursday on this market. A lot of the meta cards went up, right? Gold Kempembe was somebody who we talked about in last night's video as an item who would most likely go up after squad battle rewards, or sorry, division rivals rewards. Got my days mixed up, man. What's going on here? Division rivals rewards. Yes, those are on Thursdays. Anyway, Kempembe was 60,000 coins on Thursday, right before rewards, and he rose up to about 67,000 coins. I'll just show you the graph so that we can explain this out and it makes sense. So Kempembe went from 60K, 59,000 coins, up to 67, 68, dropped down like everything else on the market did on Thursday with the marquee matchup supply. But of course, people need to play their games. They got to qualify for the weekend league. Even though there's like 30,000 plus people banned for weekend league this weekend, it looks like there's still demand. So you're seeing this card back up right now, 68,000 coins. You'll probably see some of these cards still maintain a higher price into the day today on Friday, and you'll probably start to see them drop lower as we get towards the content drop. Uh, but people are trying to spam their games early on Fridays to get their rewards as fast as possible. So that is one thing that you do see. So that's why you've got some of the market that is up, right? You've got Marquinhos, 136,000 coins. That is up. De Young, 114. He's up in price. Urente is up a little bit. Pogba is up still some. Uh, Bruno was higher, but he is still a little bit up on the market. I, I would expect to see, you know, some of the gold cards would drop one to two hours before the promo. But as we, you know, go into this day on Friday, I don't expect to see a huge drop on the golds right away. That's going to take a little bit. And then, of course, when we get the packs open, the promo packs and all that stuff, if you're looking to buy a team for this weekend, there's going to be potential time to buy in. Just like we saw uh, it with the Kempembe graph as our example again. Just as we saw, like when Marquee Matchup said yesterday, this guy went from 67 down to 63. You're going to see a drop like this, if not greater, today on Friday, as we always do, because of that pack supply. So if you're looking to buy gold cards or anything that is in packs for your team, I think during that first hour of the lighting rounds is going to be a great shout for some of that, whether it's gold cards or whether it's maybe a hero item for your squad. Maybe it's a team of the week five item like Ndombele, Firmino, Nabri, uh, Ansu Fati, whoever it may be. I would take a look at those in the first hour. Now, don't expect to see insanely crashing team of the week prices like we did last week um, on Thursday because or on Friday, because last week, of course, there was the no loss glitch and there is not as far as we know, a no loss glitch this weekend that has been patched, that has been fixed. The people that use that have been banned. They're not even on the game right now. So I wouldn't expect to see the insane drop offs on team of the week like we did last week because of that insane supply. Um, but, you know, just for the rest of the market, if you're looking to buy a team today, if it's anything that is in packs, definitely take a look. Uh, during that first hour of the packs being opened after the content drop. If you're looking to buy something for your team that's maybe out of packs, uh, maybe it's even a road to the knockout team one card. Maybe it's, you know, a, somebody like Phil Foden, team of the week, who is up 10K from being really low uh, on Thursday, Wednesday night into Thursday, yesterday. If, it's, if it is an out of packs card, maybe an informed Salah, Kimmich, Vinicius, whoever it may be, if it's an out of packs item, or a very rare item like a hero card too, you could watch the panic selling this morning on Friday, right? I think there is going to be a little bit of panic selling on, on these cards in the morning today on Friday. So if there's any of these that you do want for your team, 100% the best time to pick these up. Barella, 120. That's pretty cheap. I mean, this guy's obviously dropped off because of the... Um, 
because of the Vidal and the Tonali. But what will be something to watch is these out of packs cards. And if people start to sell them off before the content drop today, uh, you might see them get to low points and then rebound later into tonight or Friday. Uh, that's just kind of how it goes with the hype and with the popularity uh, of stuff on this game that is out of packs that is more rare. So keep an eye on those types of cards if you're wanting to trade there. If you're looking to specifically just make coins today, 100% if you're just specifically looking to make coins, sniping golds during those lightning rounds is going to be a good look. Of course, you know, you have to think about what cards are out in the game. If you think about somebody who gets a special card today, like we mentioned, it, it looks like Royce on that loading screen. What would be a card that would link to this Royce that is very popular, that is in the Bundesliga, that a lot of people might want to use? Well, of course, Erling Haaland. Now, he doesn't have any special cards. He's got a gold card. Uh, it's like 16,000 coins. But it is a gold card and he's higher rated. So he's going to get supplied, but not an incredible amount. You know, maybe you would think about somebody, um, let's see, like maybe even a, uh, a Goretzka, right? A Goretzka card, you would probably link Royce to a Goretzka in your team with some Bundesliga links, maybe an informed Kimmich, you know, that kind of stuff with the strong links to these cards, or maybe even like a Hero Colaire or a Hero Mario Gomez, not the most meta cards, but just cards that would provide a green link to this Royce card, right? As we get the cards that are dropped into packs at 6 p.m., if you wanna make some buys on cards that are linking to the brand new popular uh, Road to the Knockouts that do come out, you might see a little extra profit there today. Uh, but when it comes to me, I I'm really thinking that I'm gonna be looking at heroes, at icons, at some of this out of packs market just to see uh, what there is and just to see what you know, it's gonna all depend on the panic selling that I see this morning on Friday If I see some big-time panic selling in a couple specific areas on some cards that I think uh, Could rise especially stuff that is extra hyped right now like because of the Fofana uh, Card that was released yesterday this a Betty Pele and Ginola are both sky-high in price now I don't plan to buy a Ginola But if this guy would go down a hundred thousand coins in the panic this morning, then I would hundred percent take a look at a card like this on this game. So watch the icons, watch the heroes, watch the out of packs cards if you're specifically looking to make profit and even watch some of the road to the knockouts cards from team one, right? We know uh, that like this, some of these cards are, you know, they're pretty decently rare. And if we don't have any cards today that drop, like let's say uh, like Rodrigo right now is pretty cheap. He's 224,000 coins according to Footbin, and this is down. I think he was like even 219 uh, like a couple minutes ago. If there's a right wing from the um, La Liga that would be dropped today, that would probably hurt this card's price right away. That's your only risk uh, on buying an out of packs card before content every single day on Friday, right? Your only risk is that a card comes into the game that day that is in the same, basically a substitute item for the card that you bought, which would impact its price. So that's like the only risk with buying some of these cards before the content drop today. Uh, and that's not that big of a risk uh, in my opinion opinion. So talking about what could be coming today, we should be getting another objective player since of course, Andre is out for five more days. Now this timer actually runs out on Wednesday. And I think the objective player that we see today on Wednesday is going to have a timer that runs out the same time as Andre. That's exactly what happened with ones to watch. Um, and that'll tell us if they're going to do a full second week on this promo or just until Wednesday. I think it's going to be the latter. I only expect these cards to be in packs until Wednesday. So I would expect another objective player, of course, Cruz is the one that is being talked about. And then an SBC, 100%, I would expect an SBC player as well. Uh, I do believe Ronaldo is expiring today, which is kind of interesting. Ronaldo and Benzema are both expiring uh, today on Friday. Ronaldo's expiring in five hours, Benzema in nine hours. Uh, this does not mean that we're getting brand new player of the month already, but I'm just very, I'm, this is interesting. Like these player of the month SBCs, Ronaldo specifically was just put out for a lot less, a lot fewer days than I expected him to be. Delict is expiring as well, uh, of course. Um, so that means we're, I 100% think we're getting another Champions League, most likely a Champions League road to the knockouts player inside of the SBC section today on this game. Uh, you know, maybe if we don't see a Manchester City player in the team, we might get a Manchester City SBC. Maybe if we don't see a Chelsea player in the team, we get a Chelsea SBC. That sort of thing could happen today. So one SBC player, one objective player, I would 100% expect. Um, and then, of course, the cards that are in packs. And yeah, that's kind of the promo Friday for today. I'm being completely honest. There's not 
it's not like a crazy promo Friday where we are expecting anything big to happen uh, on the market or on the game. I mean, there is this uh, code that was dropped by Footwatch earlier this evening, and, and some people are talking about this and they're worried about it. I, I don't worry about. I'm not worried about this at all. Uh, it's basically just a player group. He says this was added to the code. Not always, but usually these player groups are used as SBC requirements. I remember this happening last year uh, in the second half of the year. Uh, later down in the line, I think it was for um, like, I forget what promo it was, but maybe Summer Stars where they added a code for this and it, we almost thought that they might require, I think it was either Summer Stars or um, whatever the other promo was at the end of last summer for FIBA 21. Um, so, and, and they were never required. So I, I'm not really sure what this means. I wouldn't be worried about this. I wouldn't be super speculative about this, um, but that is there, right? I guess that that is there and that that is known. So for, to be completely honest, what I'd be watching out for today on Friday is a little bit of panic selling. And it all just depends on the cards that are dropped today, right? People are going to be very hyped about the brand new cards that do come out in this game. They are going to be fun to trade with. Uh, and they're going to fluctuate. I mean, these these Team 1 cards going out of packs, of course, you guys remember the, the, the crazy price drop that we've seen in the Hyunmin Sun in the past day because of Tottenham and them uh, losing to Vitesse. You can see that I'm searching for Hyunmin Sun at like 870,000 coins, and there's only one page uh, of this card on the market. It's pretty crazy. So, you know, these Road to the Finals, Road to the Knockouts, rather, they are pretty rare cards. So you're just going to have to, if you're trying to make coins today, you're just going to have to follow the hype, right? You're going to have to go where the hype is, buy the cards that are hype, and uh, find the cards that people want to use in their team this weekend. And of course, also take into account and remember again that we do have a lot of people that are banned from this weekend league uh, because of no loss glitches this past weekend. So we were thinking that would impact uh, the amount of demand that there might be on this game today for a buyback. I think that that won't, that I would judge the amount of buyback we have today. If there's a lot of panic selling heading into the promo today, uh, then there will be definitely a lot of buyback. If there's not a lot of panic selling, maybe not as, as strong of a buyback on this market today. I'm just curious to see what the objective is, what they release. Should be a fun Friday as always, right? Fridays are usually full of content, SBC's objectives, cards and packs. There's a lot to do. If you've got saved up packs, good luck. If you save 75 plus packs, uh, I don't have any at the moment. I might do marquee matchups, we'll see. Uh, I just have some 83 rated fodder. I'm hoping that whoever they drop today is an SBC would be a banger of a live card. I mean, we're still kind of hoping for like the Kunde type player, right? Last year as Road to the Final, we had a Kunde objective that people absolutely loved. Now we had Fakir, he's kind of like our SBC card that was really hype, um, but we haven't technically had an objective card yet. So I really hope that the objective player today is better because Andre was just really not that hype. And I, I think we can do a lot better from an objective standpoint, uh, EA Sports. So I hope that they deliver on that point today in this game. But that's kind of the day. That's kind of what I'm, I'm expecting for today on content on Friday inside of FIBA 22. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. Let me know if you're looking to make coins, if you're looking to buy your team, maybe some specific questions around some specific players and what uh, you might wanting to be know, wanting to know as we head into the content today. Of course, if you're new around here, subscribe to the channel. It has been Nate the Foot Accountant. Happy Friday. Hope it's a good day regardless of FIFA. I hope it's a good day for you. And I will catch you guys later. Peace.